Creating breakout rooms in Microsoft Teams. Before we get started, I just want to give you a short disclaimer. You will need to download the Microsoft Teams desktop app in order to use breakout rooms. So you can see here, I have my search already queued up. I'm going to search Microsoft Teams app. And my first option came up to download Microsoft Teams desktop and mobile apps. So that's the link that I would like to click on. And once I click on this link, it'll download it for my desktop. So when they say desktop, they are also including laptops because right now I'm recording this on a laptop and I have the app downloaded here on my laptop. So you can use Windows desktops or laptops or iOS desktops or laptops. For the mobile apps, I do have those as well. I utilize it on my Android phone and my iPad as well. Just with those mobile apps, I cannot manage, create, or access breakout rooms. I have to do it from one of my desktops, whether it's at work or my laptop. So just wanted to give you that special note. Please download the Microsoft Teams app for your desktop to be able to manage a breakout room. So let's go into the Microsoft Teams app to see how do we actually set up our breakout rooms here. So I'm going I'm here. It looks our calendar looks very familiar like it does in Outlook. So I would simply just go to any Microsoft Teams meeting that I have or I can create a new one. It's going to be the same steps. And let's say I want to edit this one. Up top, you'll see where it says breakout rooms. And once it comes up, it gives me the option to actually create a breakout room. So I'm going to hit create breakout room and I can predetermine how many breakout rooms I would need for the day. So if I needed four, I can click add rooms. And here are my rooms. And also I could go ahead and pre-assign my rooms for my students or I can do it during the actual conference call. But let's show you a couple of things before we get out of it. So if I click on the three dots on each name of the breakout room, this actually allows me to personalize the name of the room. So I can call this group A if I would like, and then hit save. Also, if you click on the little gear over here on the right-hand side, it gives you some more options to set room settings for your rooms. So I can assign presenters to manage the room. So I only have one person in here, that's Dr. Haney. I can set a time limit of how long they will be in the room. And I like this feature right here. That way I don't get anyone lost in the shuffle, automatically move people to rooms. And also they'll be automatically moved back to the main room once you close the breakout rooms. So that, those are some important things that you must know in order to create your breakout room in Microsoft Teams. Remember, you have to have the app. Download the app to utilize Microsoft Teams.